Empire. It is also called Venus of the East. There are five regions which consist of 34 villages with total population of 13,000. The 13,000 population was last estimated back in 2011. Today, we are sure the population increases due to better infrastructures. But we are facing one never-ending problem which is water pollution. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. It's been a major problem that yet to be solved for years. Why rubbish is such a problem? What kind of rubbish can we find here? When, when people litter, it takes up a lot of space since plastic takes up a long period to decompose. As you can see, the rubbish washes off to the shore during low tide and accumulates. What an eyesore, and it smells too. The accumulated rubbish can become a perfect breeding place for pests and insects. This can lead to the outbreak of dangerous waterborne diseases such as cholera, guineaworm disease, typhoid, malaria, dengue, and others. As you can see, most of the rubbish here in Kampong Air consists of plastics, non-biodegradable plastics. Non-biodegradable materials not capable of being broken down by the actions of living organism. Non-biodegradable plastics when thrown to the water can harm wildlife such as fish, seabirds and other marine life. Rubbish thrown to the water will not stay at one place. They will drift or sink along with the tides and currents and will end up at other sides of the world. Therefore, there were many garbage islands formed along the ocean or open water. Assalamualaikum. Now we are here in Kampung Air to interview about the water pollution. What do you think about the water pollution in Kampung Air? Uh, bagi pendapat saya, pencemaran ini adalah satu dikatakan uh, boleh membahayakan kepada orang awam. Di mana uh, pencemaran ini boleh menyebabkan segala penyakit bukan saja dalaman maupun luaran. What are the initiatives done by the authorities and villagers to reduce the water pollution? Alhamdulillah, baru-baru ini pihak kerajaan telah pun berusaha untuk uh, melupuskan sampah ini daripada anjur dari dari ulu sungai uh, mendekat ke kampung ayam. Jadinya yang mana kerajaan ini telah pun uh, berbelanja berjuta-juta ringgit bagi semata-mata untuk membersihkan kampung air ini supaya air ini tidak tercemar. What are your advice? to the public regarding this issue. Alhamdulillah, kalau bagi saya nasihat pada orang ramai agar dapat menjaga kebersihan di mana sampah-sampah yang ada dalam rumah itu jangan dibuang di air. Kalau boleh, dibuang dalam tong sampah yang mana pihak kerajaan telah pun menyediakan tong sampah di kampung air ini uh, supaya meringankan beban kepada penduduk air dia tinggal di kampung air Thank you Ketua Kampung for your time and cooperation On our way back home the water taxi driver told us the government also placed big floating PVC pipe under buildings to prevent the garbage drift under buildings and the garbage collected by Jazz Tree and sent to Kampung Tarabau At the moment there are three boats from Jestry with few manpower collecting rubbish manually using net. After our site visits, discussions and research, we came to our conclusions as follow. 
hypothesis. We think that the recycle vending machine encouraged people to recycle or throw rubbish in appropriate place instead of the river. The booboo trap helped to reduce the amount of rubbish floating in the water. How will it work? The, for the vending machine, people can get money from the recycle vending machine. Example, one plastic bottle costs one cent. And for the garbage boo-boo, it will left for a certain of period. Then the boo-boo will be put out by the authorities to collect the rubbish accumulated in the boo-boo. The boo-boo. The traditional boo-boo usually sinks onto the riverbed. We create the garbage boo-boo that floats and can trap the rubbish. The mouth of the garbage boo-boo is designed to be wider than the traditional boo-boo so that it can collect more garbage. The buoys are attached on the side of the boo-boo to enable it to float. This is the proposed blueprint of the vending machine. This is the proposed blueprint of the garbage boo-boo. And this is the proposed location to put the vending machine and garbage boo-boo. We hope our proposal on recycle vending machine and the garbage boo-boos can be practiced along with other government to reduce water initiatives, pollution, and kampung air. Thank you for watching.